Cars. The national final is over in overtime. And Andrew Corbett gets the checker flag. Ash Media's coverage of the Australian production sedan title proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. He's A-OK -okay and he's going to retire the car. So go down the back straight, gets Callum Simpson out in front. Simpson the leader. Second place is that of Charles Day. And we've got a multi-car pile up. And Tim Smith has been tipped upside down as a result. It hasn't been his weekend. There was contact in the middle of that pack with Fuster and uh, Charles Day. It caused a concertina effect with six cars involved. And uh, Brad Flavel spun. And in, in the uh, contact that was uh, always going to happen, Tim Smith is upside down. So a little bit of drama here. Tim Smith in car 36 from Queensland to the little skyline. He's getting out of the car, ladies and gentlemen. How about putting your hands together for him? It wasn't his fault. And he was stuck in the sandwich and he was the one making all the running. And he'll be out of the race. Well, we were running a little bit ahead of time, uh, Jason, but I think we might be uh, tied up for a few minutes with this one. On the, uh, the restart that will come up, it's already been advised to the drivers. Graham Fuster in car 45 has been uh, deemed the cause of this and he will be sent to the rear of the field. So Fuster, who is in uh, third position, will be sent to the rear of this field for the restart. It'll be Callum Simpson from Charles Day, Brad Flavel, then Jaden McCush, Darren Carroll will be fifth, Leon Wood, Le then Lewis DeVries, Rob Wolfenden, Kale Soderoff, and then Graham Fuster. That will be the order.